car, Jesus went hunting up in North Texas, and these steers followed me around for the first half hour like I had hay bales in my pockets. Well, they eventually gave up thinking that I was going to feed them, and about two hours into the hunt, I spied these hogs down in the low area. Not all of the steers are gone, I've got a few hanging around, but none are down by the hogs. I actually watched this area for about four or five minutes, waiting to see how many hogs that there were, and if there were any livestock here, and, and, and there is no livestock down in this direction at all. Nice little sounder. So all of my red, green, and white light needs are being met by my Ace Beam H30 headlamp. I'm getting video through my IR Hunter Mark III thermal weapon sight. At this point I'm trying to identify sows from boars and then pick out the largest sow to shoot with my TX-15 multi-purpose carbine enhanced from Lone Star Armory. And I'm going to be shooting some Nosler Partition 100 grain bullets sourced by my buddy Adam Denny Dines. These are going to be loaded by Druid Hill Armory and the Starline Brass. I'm going to take the big sow here on the left. Alright, here we go. She takes off. I missed this hog the first time. I might have connected the second time, but I did not find it when I went searching for my original sow. I had wrongfully assumed that she would circle around and head back the same direction as the other hogs ran, and it took me looking at the video and then searching for her again before I found her about 80 yards away. Brass Catcher by Tactical Brass Recovery. She came in at 140 pounds and was not pregnant. I had started off on the back part of the property, now I'm on the front part of the property, and I've come across a small sounder of hogs, and while getting the rifle out of the truck, they disappeared into the tree line, and much to my surprise, there's Bonus Boar. I did not see him with my original scans. Now it is not uncommon to have a boar following a sounder, particularly when one of the sows or one of the gilts are in heat. Well that was a boar following a small group of three. And I'm hoping the other hogs will reappear from the tree line. Maybe head back the direction they came from. And I'm just not seeing anything. And then I get this. I drop him with a spray of blood, and he's down at 65 yards. I'm hoping there'll be a third. Number two is doing the curly shuffle. Number one is still. And there isn't going to be a number three. The first boar came in at 130 pounds and the second boar at 105. And if you're interested in a more in-depth analysis of the ballistic performance of the Nosler Partition 100 grain bullets, take a look at Carpe Analysis, the Trauma Diaries number 49. Carpe sus, my friends.